welcome back so today in this uh, video let us discuss about a data frame uh, concept another data frame concept of adding and removing a columns to a data frame uh, so in the previous uh, videos in the playlist we have seen uh, multiple uh, multiple operations of data frame like uh, renaming the columns and uh, casting the data types and all of those uh, if you are uh, i would recommend you to please go and uh, check those videos uh, uh, and just follow the playlist and uh, yeah so as part of this uh, databricks certified associate developer spark certification so this is another new topic so that we will discuss today before proceeding if you are new to this channel we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notification so let's get started so quick check on this uh, please i would recommend you to please pause this video here and uh, go through this and now we'll switch up we are starting with a setup so uh, there is a setup behind what we are practicing uh, to create all these data frames in the background so i would recommend you to please check the previous video on how to get all these resource and uh, the end to end setup of uh, all the notebooks all the sample notebooks and also the data uh, required data and the data files for that so after i execute this particular uh, uh, slash uh, create uh, data frame notebook so it has created the data frame for me so with that i can start my operations so this is my data frame right customer data frame and uh, if i just uh, do dot i can just do a size so here i can do data frame dot columns dot then there are a lot of options here as you can see sort by and all the column operation now i'm just interested to see size that means how many columns are present right there are 11 columns it shows and uh, now i can also see a print schema right so a print schema will give me the entire list of uh, the columns available so now our intention here to is to add a new column to this data frame right so when we add this uh, add a new column to data frame how to add that basically so we will add and see how the operation looks like so now if i want to add here uh, so there is a function called as with column and in the data frame right so and in the width column what you can mention is uh, you can new df call column right so you can mention this and also what you can do is uh, you can specify new df column values right so once i try to execute this uh, it says some error because this uh, package is not available so let's try to import that org dot apache dot spark dot functions and inside functions i want to import I think it is small f then you can give that dot underscore so it will import all the packages looks like there is some okay this is spark dot sql dot functions so once this package is executed so then we will have to use a lit because we will have to convert this uh, string value into the you can just you cannot just give the string value so you need to convert that uh, string value into the spark required object so once uh, whenever so keep this in mind whenever you are uh, you are adding a new column so if you are giving a string directly it won't work so you have to give the lit and to use a lit you need to use this object right uh, sql function object and as you can see there is a new column created okay and now if i try to display this particular 
new underscore df. I'll try to execute this. So what uh, how exactly this uh, lit will display? We are just I'm just trying to show you. So as you can see, if you go to the last, uh, the value that uh, you have given here, uh, so it just shows that. Uh, so this might uh, not make much of a sense uh, actually. So we can try other options. Uh, so where, uh, so before that you can just uh, do this print schema again, right? So if you do a print schema, so you can see the new column will be added here at the last. Okay, we are not assigned to it, but uh, as you can see, here itself, you are able to see the new data frame, right? And uh, so, like now we will see this, this actually whatever we have given is not making much of a sense. So what we can try to do is, uh, cut and start from here. So as you can see, uh, the whatever value that we have passed here, right? So it is just displaying that value and this might not uh, make much of a sense. So what we can try to do here is, uh, we'll try one more option, which actually uh, makes a real time uh, use case, right? So where I want to concat the first name and last name and create a new column, right? So here I can give first name, right? And then I can give comma last name. So once I do this, Let me try to execute this. So as you can see, so there is a new data frame that is created here and I can name it as EMP name, employee name or a person name, right? So as you can see, the employee name is now the combination of first name and last name, the concatenation of first name and last name. And when you try to display this uh, as a row, how exactly it displays this. As you can see, still fetching the results. So now if you go and, right. yeah, now if you can see, uh, the employee name is actually coming as a combination of first name and last name, right? And if you want to have uh, some space or some uh, good formatting for that, so you can uh, even do a uh, one more option there, right? So here uh, you can just uh, you can cut WS. Uh, and you see, uh, you can just uh, give some space in between uh, so that it, it, it actually uh, uses space in the result as well. So let's see that. So this is executed now and if I try to execute this and see yeah as you can see there is a space in between now right so that that's what uh, I'm uh, just specifying concat WS and I'm let us take this example uh, again we are adding a new column here called a new birth year but uh, here what we are doing is, is we are we are adding an expression so this expression will hold uh, the entire uh, the entire operation that you want to do like a sql like operation uh, you are using a function called year so that means the birth date you are converting it to year and you are doing a plus 1 suppose as you can see the result here uh, the birth date it will take 1935 and it adds 1 to that and that will be your new column 
so we're just adding that similarly like you can add you can do uh, many operations uh, if you want to in real in a real world scenario we generally use uh, with column uh, to kind of uh, to add a new column uh, uh, as an audit column right audit time stamp time stamp uh, so if you want to add a uh, so for any table that is getting created so you want to add a timestamp audit timestamp so we can just use a lit function and add uh, uh, that expression of date right and uh, so that it will uh, uh, it will maintain that timestamp in the new co new column as a audit uh, it, which, which helps uh, in the auditing purpose that uh, this data is created at what uh, date and what time if it is uh, possible to add a column uh, to a data frame, it should be definitely possible to remove or delete uh, or drop the columns uh, from the data frame as well. So let us see how to do that. So as you can see, uh, if uh, we have a data frame which is having a predefined columns here. So if I execute that, uh, you'll be able to see the list of columns that are present in this data frame. So like uh, address ID, birth country, birth date, blah, 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 right? And now, I'll just do a data frame drop dot drop right so inside a data, uh, data frame object so you can just see there is a drop okay so this drop uh, I'm using to drop the columns so when I specify the columns here uh, so I can specify either one column right so I can just see uh, my specifying one column right so you can here uh, specify one column as you can see address ID which was previously there is here is not present because it's been dropped now okay and now if I use birth country as well I can use birth country as well so here now the birth country is also removed from this uh, um, result okay and here I can specify uh, any other column names as well which is which might not be present right so uh, you need to be very careful in this case because you might assume there's a particular column with his name uh, and you want to drop that uh, but actually that is not true here in this case right so as you can see uh, xyz we have specifying but uh, that column is not there but it will just ignore so even when i'm specifying xyz which is the column which is not there it will just ignore and execute this and it will be able to drop the columns which are actually existing and uh, similarly you can use uh, like uh, dollar symbol here to specify the column names is another way of doing it as you can see you can specify here as well uh, one column right it will just execute with one column and also you can specify also you can specify with the multiple columns with the comma separated and that also executes so here i'm trying to remove both first name and last name okay So as you can see, uh, the first name is not there and the, even the last name is not there. Both have been deleted. So this is a simple way of uh, two two ways of dropping the columns existing.